Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. I'm here to do your weekly reading covering the 23rd to the 30th. Now, there will not be an extended. I had rushes come through this morning. There was lands This is the landscaping day. And then the daily reading, I had like, I channeled a lot and um, it had a residual effect in my body. Like I was still getting these like hot flashes when I was doing the Libra reading. So I was able to just... I was still able to channel Libra's energy. It was just like a physical residue. It was like a physical hangover, psychic hangover type thing. So now I'm back. And um, so, yeah, we're just going to do your reading and then um, and then there's no extended. So at least you get everything. <laughs> okay. It's going to be shorter, though. It's definitely going to be shorter. So let's just take a look to see what you've got going on. I'm going to let the cards do most of the talking for your... Ooh, you guys... I swear, my best readings are Sagittarius readings. I don't know if it's because I have my Venus in Sagittarius, but you guys, it's just like the cat that got the cream. I'm telling you, what is this happiness? What is this beautiful happiness that you have in your life? Yeah, you're feeling extreme. That's around you. It's around you. If it's not you, it's around you. It's probably you, though. You're probably exuding this, you know, sexy Sagittarian glow. It's you. Oh, that's a shame. You're glowing and other people around you, they can't hear it. It's like they can't see it. It's like you're there and you're like, we're alive. And they're like, you know, who is this around you that's this really tweaking out energy? It's a shame. That's a real shame. Actually, let's clarify because I feel like these are two people and I feel like this is you. And we'll clarify instantly. This could be in a relationship. This could be at work. It could be a family member. This is so typical Sagittarian. You're like, it'll all work out. They're showing me that scene from Walk the Line where he's, in, where he's like, marry me, June. And she's like, you always say that. Where are we going to live, huh? huh? What, what are we going to, where am I going to change a baby's diaper on the, the back of the tour bus? And he's like, oh, June, all that stuff, it'll all work out. And she goes, no, other people work it out for you, and you just think that it all works out. That's what this is. This is you saying, it'll all work out. It'll all work out. And this is your person going, we work it out for you, and you think it works out. But I have to work it out. And I'm stressing out about it. That's funny. That is so funny. Okay, let's let's clarify this Ten of Cups. What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups, please? Sagittarian, Mr. or Mrs. Uh, um, Saggy? Or should I say Ms. Mr. or Ms. Okay, that's way too many cards. I'm not taking it. That's probably it. That's probably all you need to know about this week is that your partner is tweaking out and that you're just like, Mah. look at you, look at you. You're so happy. You're in love. Life is looking great. The birds are singing. The bunnies are hopping. Okay. You're just happy. And you know what? Everyone can learn from you. Everyone can learn from the Sagittarian. Let's look at the brighter side of life. It's the truth. So it might be agitating people around you this week, Sag, but you know what? They're missing out. Let's take a look at stressy pants over here. Oh, okay. That was quick. Interesting. So there's, we have the Empress to clarify the Nine of Swords. So they're stressed about money. They're stressed about, just like June was saying, well, where are we going to live? How am I going to change in diapers? You know, they're, they're stressed about having enough and not having enough. They're stressed that it's going to run out. The money, the love, the abundance, the, you know, so even here, here, get this, Sag. So things could even be going great. Things could be going great. <clears throat> you got a raise. They got a raise. Work is well. The work is going well. The relationship is beautiful. But 
stressy pants is worried that it's all going to end. That they're worried that it's just going to crash, that it can't possibly last. It's going to be that that sinks the ship more than anything else. And you know that. I know you know that. I know you know I know that you know that. What's the next energy? Oh, Knight of Wands. So you're going to try to do your very sexy Sagittarian... You're going to romance them. You're going to try to loosen them up. You're going to try to, you know, show them a good time. I feel like you're going to take them out, you know, get them out of their minds about this. And I feel like that would be really good for you guys. For you, And this doesn't even have to be lovers. I mean, it's like we have lovers on the table, but this could also be work. This could be at work where you're like, things are great. And they're like, no, they're not. I'm so stressed about this. I'll get the next energy. Yeah. Page of Swords. Waiting for conditions to change. I feel like that's their anxiety though. I feel like they're waiting for conditions to change. Like, what am I going to have to adapt to? Whoa, 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 whoa. They're, they're very mental. Another sword card here. They're a little neurotic. Very neurotic. They could have not had a lot growing up. They could have Grown up in very narrow surroundings, limited mindsets, you know, poverty, lack, a lack mentality. They could have, you know, so that's, they have their own issues with this, just so you know, Sag. Um, and it's just, it's working on them. It's really working on them, this whole lack. So to clarify, the Knight of Staves, we have the Seven of Swords. So this is your means of distracting them, of trying to get them to think differently. You're, you're trying to get them to think differently. And I feel like it's a noble effort, but you're not going to be able to change their minds unless they change their own minds. So let's take a look at that and let's see if there, it's, if it's going to work. The Page of Swords for Sag, please. <clears throat> well, Seven of Staves. They're going to be really defensive. They're going to be really, really entitled, defensive. This is, I have the higher ground. This is how I think. This is what I think. And you're blind, Sag. You don't know what's right in front of you. And, you know, what if it all falls apart? And they're going to be really determined to, to keep into their thinking and really defend their um, mental position. So, Sag, I would try meeting in the middle. Instead of trying to get them to go all the way over to your side, I would just meet them in the middle because they're, they're tweaking out. They're tweaking out pretty bad with this energy. Um, it's really, really fearful. They could even be losing sleep at night. So I know that everything's probably fine. To be honest, you're probably right. Everything's probably fine, but they don't, they're not in that space. They're in a lower frequency and you're in a higher frequency. So it's a jump for them. So try to be patient. I, I'm get, you're going to try to take them out of it. You're going to try to teach them to see things from your perspective, but they're going to be really defensive about it. So I would be careful with that. Don't try to push. I would try to just meet them in the middle. And then you just can't do anything more from there. They have to do the rest of the work on their own to get themselves out of that mentality. Okay, Sag. Oh, let's get a moonology for you. Let's get advice for you. Oh, I really feel like sick energy, like sick, sick. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, sorry. That's just me and my body. What advice do we have for Sagittarius in this situation for this week? What advice? We've got, oops, the energy is gaining momentum. So be careful, Sag. Be very careful with this because this could blow up. It's right now, it's like they're anxious. You're coasting. You're just surfing. But it could, it could turn into a big fight. It could turn into a really big fight. So just really be mindful of this. So I think if you use this week to meet them in the middle, they'll be a lot less defensive, you know, and they, they might, you know, but otherwise if, if they're still super defensive, I would give them space. I would give them space because you, you can't go inside their mind and think things for them. So, all right. So just keep in mind that the energy can get bigger. So watch for snowballing, watch for it getting worse or getting better. Okay. And try to just, you know, respond accordingly if you if you can okay 
and don't let anyone bring you down. Don't let anyone, cause they're not giving me any firm arguments is what I'm getting from this. They're just stressed. They're just really stressed, really defensive, kind of entitled, but I'm not seeing the argument as being really valid. So you're probably right. And if they can't come around, all right, my loves. So if this is really your energy, if this is very much resonating for you and you'd like more, there's no extended this week, I'm sorry, you can book a personal reading with me at theartigan.com slash shop and we can get you a date of when to expect your reading or if you need this immediately, you can book a 24-hour rush and then you get it quick, which is what I was doing earlier um, today. Okay, my loves, so take care, Sag, and I will see you guys next week.